Stop. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. I mean, we've had issues with the radios going out in this area before. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know. Just used to spend a lot of time with our dog, Mayhem. Mayhem? What kind of name is that? He was a German Shepherd, big as a truck. So why not call him Chevy? Well, we, uh, we walked out of the shelter, and there was some graffiti on a trash can, and it said, Dicko Mayhem, and um, he walked over and peed all over it, and there you go. <laughs> That's a really cute story? It is what it is. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. I'm just going to keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Uh, hey, your button is still down. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, I, I thought about it, and that story is cute, and, um... Sorry, but, but you said we? You, you owned him with someone? <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I, I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. Well, follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it.
Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, 
You could always pilfer it for supplies. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photo dome. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. Yeah, I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in a fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. Okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. 
Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks, that helps. in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. 
Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Site and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. These girls have a full case of beer left here, a full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear, or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah, oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police. because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. <laughs> 